in the last episode of Pigus Mustache. Last month I was traveling to Austria. Weird, there's a letter here. It's from Interpol. Do they know? No, it's impossible. This is just a blank piece of paper. Anyway, hi, my name is Pig with Mustache. Well, unless you are from Interpol, that is, in which case, not really. So, that Holland kid is pretty good, huh? As of the writing of this video, he already has 42 goals to his name in 37 matches as well. While in the Premier League, his goal tally so far two thirds into the season, by the way, is already enough to be top scoring seven of the previous 10 seasons. One more stat, just for fun. His goal average so far is better than the entire Chelsea squad. Huh? That's a pretty fun statistic. With him scoring so many goals like that, people obviously wonder, just how far can he go? Can he score a thousand goals? What is the limit for him? And that's why in today's video I decided to put Haaland in the country where teams play the biggest amount of matches possible, in hope that he would score the biggest amount of goals possible. That country is Brazil. In Brazil, teams not only have to play the usual competitions like the National League, the National Cup, the Continental competitions, they also have to play in state leagues, which is the main reason why the National League only lasts 8 months of the year. You might ask, with a schedule so busy, how do teams get to train? Here's the funny part, they don't. Do you think this is a result of training? Or maybe this? Well, clearly not this. I'll stop it here, but you need to know, I could make a 10 hour video just with plays like that. But there's one tiny extra detail I didn't tell you, teams specifically from this region, Brazil, get to play in an extra competition, a regional cup called Copa do Nordeste, which could mean up to 12 extra matches in the first quarter of the year. Now in real life, it's not so bad. Teams will usually prioritize the Copa do Nordeste while you're using their bench players in the state league, or if they play in a continental competition, they're gonna use their A team there, some reserves at the cup, and even the C team at the state league if they have to, if they're smart. Which is why in Football Manager, the AI would not do that. Instead, it will always try to use the best squad whenever they can. Which is why, if Haaland's going to score over a thousand goals, I believe his best chance is that Fortaleza. Without Haaland, the team is already good enough to qualify for Libertadores, so with him, they should easily qualify. And he'll have to play, I don't know, 70, 75 matches in a year? In Manchester City, he barely gets to play 60, if even that. And not to talk, of course, about the quality of the opposition. <gasps> That's right, I wasn't actually joking about the 10 hour video. Before we get to the experiment itself, I have something actually important to say. No, actually important. But please do subscribe. Ever since the update, if you start a save in December 2022, you will 100% of the time get a crash dump between 1st and 2nd of July. It happened to me every time I tried. It will happen to you as well if you try. Unless it's solved by the time I actually finish this video. I don't know. In which case, good job, SI. But if the glitch is still around, the workaround for that is to start in January 2023. Why? I don't know. That's Football Manager for you. All right, back to the video. First year for Haaland at Fortaleza, and he's not even the top scorer of the league. That's kind of disappointing, really. The team managed to finish mid-table, which puts them at Sudamericana, while at Libertadores he does a better job by being the top scorer after an amazing group stage, followed by falling semifinals. In other competitions, he's fine. Top scorer at Copa do Nordeste with 9 goals and 3 goals in 4 matches in the state league. In the end, he scored 48 goals for his club. Which is fine, but if it doesn't improve, I'm not sure I'll release this video. Also, you wanna see how chaotic the calendar is? Imagine having to go through that until 2040. 
Instead of going year by year, we're gonna jump to the fifth season, because what kind of maniac would talk about every single Holland season break? These past four years were a roller coaster when it came to the Brazilian league. His second year was pretty poor with only 13 goals scored, followed by three seasons where he would either be the top scorer or he would barely miss out due to losing half of the season due to injury. Which is why Fortaleza's best position was fourth place. But as you can see, nothing too remarkable. What saved his seasons were campaigns in the state league and especially at the Northeast Cup where he scored an insane 9-1 goals in 43 games. The competition is basically his personal playground by now. Putting all of his seasons together, his goal tally is at 273 goals, a quarter of the way. Let's see if he can keep this up. Now we go to 2032, Haaland has spent 10 seasons in Brazil, and in the meantime, he retired from the national team, with pretty horrible numbers and made a total of 2 friends in Brazil, both being his coaches. Goal scoring wise, he keeps his trend of demolishing the regional cup, even breaking his record while playing last games, and he also started doing the same in the state league as well, with his 17 goals in 5 games. In the Brazilian league, something actually interesting, he seemed to finally have some real competition in Maurilho, which made him have his best season the next year. When he thought everything was fine and he was able to rest just a little bit, another Santos kid came to be a pain in his ass. So again, Haaland takes up a notch and becomes the top goal scorer in the next season. And then finally, makes a statement in the next season, scoring 37 goals in the league. Look at that smug face of his. He earned the right to be this smug. He knows there's no competition for him. With a total of 604 goals for Fortaleza, he knows nothing can stop him. Until next year, when he spends 8 months of the season injured, he still managed to be around the top scorers of the season though, but with only 22 goals, it's a wasted year. In his last years in Brazil, Haaland still performed at a high level, netting 19 goals in 2 seasons in a row at the cup, same for the state competition where he got 16 goals in 6 games, it's still great numbers, but without the charm and fear the younger Holland imposed. In the National League, he got some great seasons in him, scoring 32 goals once, 27 twice, and 26 despite being 39 years old. But in the end, not even Holland could avoid time and his attributes weren't the same anymore. In his last season, he only scored 25 goals in total, and in the end, he leaves Fortaleza with 972 goals. And he'll always be remembered as a club icon. He scored nearly a thousand goals for you guys and he's behind some random guys who won nothing. Anyway, including his goals for the national team and the goals he scored before going to Brazil, he's got a total of 1120 goals. And finally he can leave those ungrateful bastards from Fortaleza and go to match the city, who are still coached by the unretireable Pepe Guardiola, who never left and always waited for Holland to come. So he did it guys. End of the video, I guess. Nope. So we finished Holland's season in Fortaleza and he does succeed at scoring more than a thousand goals. But doesn't it feel like he could have done more? Other than one season or another, it didn't really feel that remarkable. He could have scored more goals just by staying in England. And that made me think. If you remember my other Holland video, his numbers in the MLS were just as good as in the Premier League and worse than in Bundesliga. So maybe the best way to get Holland to score a bunch of goals is not by just playing a lot of matches, but by playing for a team that is a lot better than their opponents. So let's again, at least for one season, make Holland play for the biggest, the strongest, the team of most fans, the most historic and successful club in Brazil. Obviously, I'm talking about Internacional. There's no joke here. Move along. Well, there's only one problem. The viciously evil, lying folks who do the research for Brazilian teams for football manager seem to think that Flamengo has the best squad in Brazil. So, for the sake of the experiment, I have no other option left other than letting Haaland play for Flamengo. There's one detail, Flamengo doesn't play in any regional competitions, so that means less matches. But in return, he should be able to score a little bit more. But it's not gonna make that much of a difference, will it? Oh yeah, we're doing this. 
Flamengo starts the save by winning the league by 22 points, with Haaland himself scoring a goal every 6 to 5 minutes. He also got great numbers both in Libertadores, which they also won, and the State League. This Haaland also happens to be prolific for his national team, by scoring 15 goals for Norway in a single year. Poor Andorra. I feel like I have said that before. In total, that's 90 goals at club level. We'll add the national teams later. In the last 4 years, Haaland surpassed himself. Twice. And he was top scorer of the league despite playing only 22 matches. Twice. In Libertadores, he successfully managed to be the top scorer every single year after the first. In Rio, he did this. I recommend you pause the video right now before you continue. This is fun. This monster finished 2027 with 104 goals scored at club level and a total of 441 goals just for Flamengo. And spoiler, this is not even his best season. In the years after, Haaland kept scoring for fun, with 2031 being his best year with 25 goals in Libertadores, when most top scorers usually have like 15, plus 27 goals in the state league. Looking at the Brasileirão table, can you guess how many goals he scored? Place your bets now. 55 goals. And that's because he didn't play in every single match. Culminating in a career high 109 goals in a single year. But alas, in his 10th year in Brazil, a 4 month injury kept him out of a good chunk of the season, missing out on Libertadores and half of the National League. But not enough to stop him. Top score of the league and 61 goals in the year. Not a great year for him, but not too bad either. With that, he jumps to 863 goals for Flamengo with 8 seasons to spare. Haaland kicks off the beginning of his final years with a goal every 60 minutes in the league and 31 goals in Rio. He follows it up with back-to-back -back similar seasons putting up more than 70 goals in a year. And then, oh that's right, he gets old. His downfall starts even sooner here. He gets one final dance in the National League, after that, three major injuries in a short period of time finally gets to him and he becomes just a normal striker. In his final season, he's not even a starter anymore, getting only 10 goals all year, but at least with a total of 1,284 goals just for Flamengo. He leaves the club as a icon? Literally the best goal scorer of all time, and that's not even including the goal he scored for anyone else. And the best before his teammate? Well, that's football manager for you. So yeah, that was the video. Please leave a like, a subscribe, or share it with the people you think will enjoy this video. This really helps my channel grow. If you don't, then now release the 10 hour video on Brazilian football. Trust me, this is a threat. You do not want that. Watching Vasco play football will cause epilepsy and heart attacks if done for long periods of time. Caution is advised. Alright, bye!